Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. I managed to gain some excess legend points by playing bad decks like Contra Warrior, so I need to shed some of those away and climb some ranks again. And the tool that I chose for this job is Face Hunter. Face Hunter, still a great deck. I had a great time with this great win rate. Just a beautiful deck to play even in this meta. One of the best counters you can find to rogue decks. But I didn't want to play the exact same list that I have been playing for several weeks already, so I made some changes. In particular, I added Beast, Stalker, Tavish, Battlecry, Discover and Cast to improved secrets. And Tavish can be especially good in some of those rogue matchups, because they play Scabs, I play Tavish, I have some explosive traps, those stealth minions will not be touching me. Sure, you use the hero power that deals guaranteed damage to face, but Tavish has a lot to give anyway. And the limited statistics we have of using Tavish in Face Hunter do indicate that Tavish could potentially be an upgrade for this deck. And the same can be said in the current meta about Mancrick. Mancrick kind of fell out of favor, just wasn't considered strong enough for Face Hunter anymore after Aim Shot became prevalent. But now in the current meta and with the current Face Hunter lists running Aim Shots, running Ramming Mounts, then actually getting that Mancrick spell into your deck. And then when you pull it with Paracodo Pain, because you can either pull a Ape Shirt, Mancrick's Wife or Ramming Mount. And typically at the stage where you're playing Paracodo Pain, you don't even want a Ramming Mount. Ramming Mount is something you want earlier in the game, and when you're playing Kodo Pain, you're looking for Aim Shirt, you're looking for direct damage. And adding Mancrick's Wife to the pool actually improves the Paracodo Pain results a little bit. So potentially another card that is making a comeback to Face Hunter. Data is still limited, but both Tavish and Mancrick to be pretty okay in this archetype. So if you want to play Face Hunter and you want a little bit of a different twist to it, try including these in your deck. Other than that, it is face hunting business as usual, ever since this buff variant became prevalent. So you try to get some minions on the board early, you try to buff them up, which makes them survive a little bit longer, then you will be able to push in some minion damage. You still have Warsong Wranglers that are going to pull Trembling Rhinos or Wolpettingers for you, then using those beasts and using a hero power, using the damage spells to finish things off, and that's how you play. As for the mulligans with this deck, you're looking for one drop, Volpetinger, High and Deep Drog, Intrepid Initiate, Demon Company is also fine, and if you have a one drop, then you start to think about buffs, adorable infestations, doggy biscuits, in some cases even ramming mounts, so that you can just get a nice curve, minions on the board, buff them up a little, make them survive, start hitting face. And as for this Tavish Mancrick variant, this is what it looks like in action. Let's go. Not the most impressive. Not the most impressive turn one I've had, but we'll go with what we've got. Let's go. Is this a shaman or is this a rogue? Me, it's a rogue. You think it's a shaman, but it never is. It's always just a rogue, right? But I want more stuff on this board, more than I want to use a hero power here. Alright, are we ready? Are we ready for the null times? Ooh, it's actually going to be Poison Rogue. Which doesn't mean that it won't be null time, it's still going to be null time, of course. So they have one null in hand, right? It should be headed towards this board, I think. Here comes the null. How many players in Legend are on average? That's really hard to say. EU has went as far up as 40,000. NA barely 15. But on EU... Last month I think there was something like 25, maybe. 25,000. Maybe something like that. I don't exactly have a ton of minions in that deck. I could also go with the Wolpettinger buff here. We'll do that. We Go face Areno. With the Wolperting Areno. Didn't find a weapon. Oh dear. That's tough. 
A doggy biscuit. So I could do that and the demon companion. And they would have to have a cloak. I'm able to be skid on this one now. More Volp Tingers on the board. Hit face with all of this stuff. Yeah, now they need to start cloaking up. Because if they don't cloak up, then life is gonna get really bad for them. Alright. And even if they cloak up, then well... There is kind of this problem that they haven't had a weapon. There's the cloak. They're still going to need another cloak for next turn. Alright. I do like where this is going. But they could have that cloak, cloak, scabs kind of stuff. It's not impossible. Discover and cast two improved secrets. Whoa. That's interesting. Because I could get an improved ice trap here. It is just rifle and hero power. They still need another cloak for this turn. Another happy Without another cloak here, they're just they're just very, very dead. And they still have 19 cards in the deck. They had another cloak. Then they will need scabs for next turn. And scabs cannot be prevented with Tavish. I'll just hero power again. Alright, now they have to have scabs. Both cloaks are gone. All of their mana will be spent on playing the scabs. Okay. They're 13. Do I have 13 damage? I have... 2, plus 7, that's 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 damage. That's a little sad. Well, first we're going to hit them in the face with this weapon. See if we can roll an explosive trap, and I cannot. That's awkward. I really wanted an explosive trap here. I really wanted an explosive trap. So we'll go with the hero power into Tavish now. We'll get the improved explosive drop from Tavish here. That one. And then... Maybe that one. Okay, so this takes them down to... This takes them down to six. And I have six from hand. Ooh. I think we can do Trog, Biscuit, Coin, Wrangler. Trog might not survive, though. There's also the Trog, Coin, Infestation. But the same things that kill the Trog also kill it through the Infestation. But then I will have... Then I will always have at least a minion for the Biscuit. I won't otherwise, so I guess this is now acceptable. Yeah, because there was this this possibility. In case it happens to be a druid. Or the SI7 extortion if it happens to be a rogue, of course. Put a bit of buff on this and try to hit the druid in the face real fast. Uh-huh. Oh, impressive. It shouldn't get 
all the goodies though. Usually doesn't get all the goodies right here, so... Okay. They're overloaded now, so they can't do much here. So we will be able to kill that Ivos. With some small sacrifices. I'm actually probably going to wrangle for more Wolpettingers in this position. Because... This is, this is a pretty sweet move. Wrangling for a Wolpettinger. Is it one of these kills that, and then I can push more damage to the face? Next turn I can wrangle for a Rhino. And get more Wolpettingers on the board, so Druid will have to have good stuff next turn. The alternative is to Rifle and try to get the Ice Trap. That's actually stronger. We're going for this. Let's get the ice trap here. This one. Because with the ice trap, that means that the druid will be hard pressed, very, very hard pressed to do anything to survive here. Try to cast Scenario and Ward, it will fail. But nature studies, that could help. Maybe. They will have six mana to cast another cast more stuff, so they would need another bloom. They would actually need more than a bloom. Okay. We're able to do quite a lot here, considering their limited resources. So I have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage here. 11 plus 5 is 16. They happen to be at 16. Let's kill them. And boom. I thought that was a beautifully executed game. That... Alright. Happy Feast of Winter Vale. Happy Feast of, Feast of Squelch Vale to you, my friend. So, what are you? I would expect this to be a rogue, but it is not. It is not a rogue. That's an upgrade, probably. Now, oh, this is going to get tricky. Because if they have a buff there, if they have a buff there, then this can get real, start to get really tricky. I may have to quick shot their minion. If they doggy biscuit it. They didn't doggy biscuit, but that's still fine, right? Oof. That was annoying. I'll have to do... I'll have to do Iron Deep Trog and quick shot that one. Leave Kolak alive. This is really coming down the wire. They have had a super nutty hand. Super nutty. Going to try to Rhino our way through this. We'll see how it goes. Hungry, huh? No! They will have Rhinos too! Ooh, that's gonna hurt. So 76 Rhino is coming from them. We're in such a great position. Sad times. Use my Rhino to kill the Kolek there. 
then use this to kill that. So now this one cannot kill my Rhino. So if they want my Rhino that they have to sacrifice their own Rhino into it. If they have found a second Rhino, it's still fine, right? I could trade the Doggy Biscuit. Do I want to use it to buff the Rhino next turn? Will there be a Rhino next turn? There will not be a Rhino next turn. We trade the Biscuit now. Then we jam this Rhino into that. Now even if they have a Rhino there, they would have sacrificed here. They used both Guardian Orc Merchants. Good. That's 14 damage over two turns. Then I need another 4 from somewhere. Where do I, they get, where do I get that remaining 4? So if I use a name shot, then they will have enough trogs to trade out of the Wolpetingers. So I cannot buff the Wolpetingers. But I mean, they have a couple of cards there, they might be able to do it anyway. I actually need to kill this trog. I actually need to kill the trog. Miss the tree damage going to face so that. I have a chance to actually fight for this board. Not the Ringling's Rifle, good. Look at that, a Doggy Biscuit. I will still be able to kill this, so I push 3 plus 7, I push 10. I will still need one more damage. If I trade the Doggy Biscuit, what could I find? 3 plus 7. This needs to be traded. And I need to weave in the hero power. Now they need to focus even more on this Volpetinger. Because there's a summon from it. They can't leave it up. They have to kill that and they have to kill the ram. And actually that just leaves them dead, no matter what. Because when they face tank that they just die. Beautiful, beautiful. That was an interesting and challenging game. And one where I think I was able to execute. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.